Hey, I sound. Sorry, I'm getting used to where my camera is now because it's all changed. So my camera's there, so I've got to keep looking there. So I'm here to do the full moon reading for yourself. So I'm starting with Gemini, my fellow Gemini babies. Um, so we are on the book moon, and I always feel like I, I, when we're on the book moon, I always feel like it's a kick-ass moon. It is a super moon, but I always feel like it's it, imagine a book of sag, you're like throwing its back legs and kind of kicking us. I feel like that's the type of energy with it is kind of giving us a kick up the ass that we all need. Uh, with it being in Capricorn, the full moon is in Capricorn. I feel like it, it's giving us um, the main word that I would put to this full moon is productivity and purpose. So it's all the P's productivity and purpose and it's about getting productive um, in what you need to do especially in your pursuits so productivity purpose and pursuits i'm getting confused at where i'm looking because i can't see myself so it's over there <laughs> so let's dive straight in for my gem gems and see what we've got with the empowerment for this full moon it goes full on the uh, 3rd of July at 3.58pm. No, it's not. Sorry, it's 12.58pm. Ignore me. So, the main energy is the call of the wild. So, this full moon is bringing a lot of energy. See, we've got the stag there kicking you up the ass, Gemini. Um, where in life do you need that kick? Where do you need to give yourself the kick? That's where it's at. Um... The Call of the Wild, it is about dreaming. It's about dream big, dream big. Use that wild energy. Use your animal guides, your animal spirits, the personalities of them in order to kind of push yourself through this full moon. I like it. There could be a lot of lucid dreaming, a lot of vivid dreaming. I will be keeping a dream journal because what's crossing that energy is manifestation. It's about desire. What do you desire? How do you imagine and picture and visualize your perfect life your destination where you want to be your purpose you know in life the hand of the divine is saying right now is the perfect time for them to deliver what you really want so it's about putting that into practice it's about thinking where you want to go rather than where you've been why is this coming around nice my jam nerves <laughs> so we've got healing hands some of my Geminis are healers or you will be drawn to heal. If there has been sleep problems going on, especially while we're in the Gemini season, they will be manifesting into a better night's sleep. We've also got Mother Nature, feeling grounded, feeling safe and secure, but this moon is also kind of like pulling you out. So if you've been in hermit mode, if you've been in, you know, you've been kind of keeping yourself to yourself, it's kind of pushing yourself out towards nature. There's a lot of like nature, animals, that type of energy with this full moon for yourselves, Gemini grounding practices are really important with this full moon gemini for yourselves walking barefoot epsom salt baths meditations anything that's going to keep you grounded because you are manifesting but you're manifesting at a really strong rate you know there's a lot of things that are going on with changes to yourself i know that in myself i am not a colorful person right now i've got orange and blue in my eyelashes i've got yellow well, I've got sunflowers. I've got yellow nails. I've got a pink bracelet on that I was gifted yesterday. I don't do colour. Do you know what I mean? And I'm, I've got Gem I'm Gemini sun and a Gemini rising. So there's something changing. I feel like colour is coming in for me. And it may be coming in for yourself as well. Using colour to manifest as well. So in the recent past, you've already started working with the moon. But I feel like this was the new moon energy. What were you putting out there? What... I feel like you need to get motivated around your ambitions, Gemini. I feel like that's what this Capricorn moon is about. It's about motivating yourself. Where do you want to live? What do you want to do in life? Are you bored of the nine to five? At present, we do have a heartbreak energy. I don't kind of feel it as a heartbreak, though. I feel it more like a release. We are in that cancer energy as well. We're, uh, we are in the can sign of cancer, which is bringing the emotions to the surface with this Capricorn full moon so that they can be released. Then we've got that power and that stride to kind of push ourselves forward to our, to our own pursuits. So maybe in the past, you've kind of left yourself on pause whilst you've been sorting everybody else out. Going forward, yeah, your third eye chakra is going to open around this full moon. And the third eye chakra is showing you the bigger picture of things and why certain things are about to happen. And maybe that's why I was saying a minute ago, it's about not going backwards at all. It's about going forwards, manifesting forwards. 
and the third eye chakra is going to show you the big picture of what you can have, what you could have, and why certain things have had to happen. So there's a lot going on. Your power is karma. Your power is to cut the karmic cords, especially the emotional karmic cords that are holding you back to the past. Because there's so much more coming into the future. You do not want to manifest more of that. So any trauma bonds, anything like that, you've got to deal with them now. Use this full moon power to kick you up the butt, to get them karmic cords cut. Because the outside influence is throat chakra. It's about speaking your truth. It's also about hearing things. Some of my Geminis could be receiving apologies from people. Apologies from people that have hurt you in the past, done things in the past. Um, you know, maybe it's, it's not a sense of it'll set you free, but maybe the truth will set that person free, if you get what I mean. So, in your hopes or fears, Gemini, we have divine protection. You do not need to be, you do not need to go into fear. You are divinely protected at this time. You are cutting karmic cords with this book, Full Moon. You're seriously cutting the cords, and you've got a lot of protection around you and a lot of love from spirit. As your outcome, oh. As your outcome, we have the solar plexus. You will be trusting your central nervous system rather than this. So it's almost like it's not head and heart anymore with you. This is it. If I feel it here, then I'm going to go with it. Trust in your intuition, especially when it comes to connections. Because right now, you are massively growing the connection between you and your higher self. And that is why the decisions going forward that you're going to be making are going to be bob on because you're using this. You're using your gut instinct, your solar plexus energy. So I just want to get a clarification with the solar plexus energy for yourselves. Yeah, there we go. We're ending. Disarming air triggers and conflicts. The debt is paid till the debt tables apart. Contracts, commitments, they are ending. It, you're ready to go forward to contracts and commitments of your own. Yeah, no more isolating your thoughts. There's going to be some kind of information coming through. And it's about you going forward. I feel like you've put yourself on pause too many times to deal with other people's issues. And now it's you. It's time for you. So send me lots of love. Bye. Hey, Aquarius. So you're going to have to forgive me if my eyes keep going that way because I've changed my camera around. So I'm trying to get used to it and it's driving me insane. So we are doing the full moon reading for the full moon in Capricorn at, um, happening in the sign of Cancer. It is the book moon and I always laugh because I always imagine the stag like kind of kicking with its back legs and kind of booting us up the ass. So the main words that I get for this moon are pro productivity, purpose, you know, it's the P's. It's about getting productive in your own life, especially with it being in Capricorn. So I'm going to dive straight in for my Aquariuses. We've got recognition. So I feel like this full moon is bringing about some form of recognition for yourselves, whether it be from other people or whether it's this is an internalised recognition. But there's something about some kind of work, some kind of cycle completing that you're shining from. I do kind of want to say be careful when you're shining because that light can attract unsavoury people um but as long as you've got your wits about you and you go with your gut instinct and trust that we'll be okay so what's crossing that now we've got the congratulations card you're not seeing the good that you've been doing you're not seeing the light that you're shining they want you to see it so we've got the congratulations you've been giving your energy wings it's now time to use the gifts and strengths that these wings carry to provide guidance and empowerment to yourself and others, your experiences, or your qualifications. Source a new spiritual hearts and spread your angelic energy wherever it's needed. Aquarius, it's like a massive pat on the back from spirit, but I feel at the minute you feel like you're letting yourself down or that you've not done good enough. And I feel like you've done, you've done perfectly. You've done, you've done amazing. So there's definitely some kind of recognition coming in for that. Why is it coming around now? We've got the throat chakra opening. So this is about trustworthy and truthful communication. This is you speaking your truth. Um, this is you being heard. You know, this is why your light is shining. You are willing to speak your truth now. And if you are not, this is what you need to work on with this full moon energy. Release the blockages around the throat chakra and speak your truth. Whatever you need to put into practice with your word, get it done. Some of my Aquariuses are going to be going for important like meetings or even interviews as well. There's something to do with words and how you like kind of put your words across. 
that are going to be important around this full moon. So in the recent past, we do have a need for balance. And there has been a lot of things that you've been hanging on to from the past, whether it be, you know, um, self-sabotage, you know, that type of thing, or it could be people. I do feel like you're in a place now where you're ready to let go of them. You don't want to be dangling like that anymore. You know, you want to be kind of lying back and enjoying the fruits of your labour. So I do feel like you are going to be putting boundaries into place. At present, though, we do have the Haunted card. So again, there is certain things from the past or certain people from the past that kind of pull you back to things. Maybe that's where the throat chakra is coming in and maybe you, learn, you need to learn the art of saying no. I feel like that is where it's going to be going. Because going forward, you do have the Soul Sisters card, which means you've got good people around you. Whether it be Soul Sisters, Soul Trav, Soul Brother, Soul Family, you know, you've got good people. So this full moon is definitely bringing you an energy of your light shining and bringing in the right people, the right situations, the right opportunities, you know, because you're shining. There's just this energy of needing to let something go from the past. Your power is my guide, Elijah. So we all know Lilith. She brings me through. She brings my fastiness through. Elijah is my guide of actual communication, though, and a lot of the time it gives me words that I don't even know. Um, I don't know why, but I'm getting conspiracy in my head. So I don't know if someone around you is really into these conspiracies or you've been looking into a lot of it. I kind of want to say we are at a massive shift at the minute between 3D and 5D. I am more 5D. That I'm not on that timeline anymore. It doesn't interest me at all. Be very careful what you read and what you hear because what we hold within poisons us, no one else. Because um, a lot of it, your reading is regarding words. There's a lot of words involved in this reading. And the outside influence to that is letting go. So there's certain, you could be letting go of certain beliefs as well that have been holding you back. You know, she's sitting on the swing and kind of reminiscing, but burning what needs to be burnt. I'm not saying go out there and commit arson. I'm saying even write it down, do a full moon release, write it down, release it, let it go. In your hopes and your fears, connection. But this is connection to yourself. This was when I drew this, when I was connecting to actual Lilith energy. So this is me meditating in order to connect with my higher self or to connect with Lilith. So then I could be like guided forward and take that spiritual guidance. People think I'm nuts now. I will literally not say yes and no to a, to a question. I will literally just sit there, close my eyes. And if I go forward, it's a yes. If I go backwards, it's a no. There's no arguing with it. But I'm still alive. It works, you know. We all found that energy. Your outcome is Lilith. So, yeah, Aquarius is definitely an energy of going up against people or going up against memories from the past. There could have been abuse. There could have been narcissism, that type of thing. There could have been people that took the mick out of you, that kind of fed on your light, drained you dry, and kind of left. That's where your that's where Lilith comes in. She carries the serpent. The serpent sheds its skin in growth. You are growing so strongly, Aquarius. So it's about getting motivated for yourself right now with this full moon. It's a deep reading. A deep, deep reading. Your advice from the yin yang deck is your third eye chakra. So listen to the third eye chakra. The third eye chakra will always show you the bigger picture of things and why certain things have had to happen in order for what's coming in. And also we've got cycles completing. We've got change. She's got the butterfly over her mouth. As soon as your words start to open and you speak your truth, that is the butterfly. The pain that you've been going through right now is that catalyst moment when the the caterpillar goes into the catalyst and it's waiting to transform. Transformation is painful, but you are going straight through it. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I'll leave you there. Hey, my beautiful Libras. Again, I've got to keep remembering that my new camera's over this side. Um, so forgive me if I'm looking all over the place on these videos. I'm not used to it just yet. So we are doing the full moon in Capricorn, which is the book moon. And I keep saying to everybody, it's almost like imagine a big massive stag right in front of you and it's going to book its back legs and give you a kick up the ass. That is what this moon is about. So it's in Capricorn. Um, it's Well, it's in, the sign of Cap it's in the sign of Cancer, should I say, but it is the full moon in Capricorn which is about productivity and purpose. It's about pushing ourselves forward, getting ambitious, getting motivated in life, thinking like logically, where do I want to be? Where am I going? So let's have a look. It's happening in the sign of cancer as well, which brings that water element in, so emotions can play a part as well. So, love it. 
Libra, this full moon energy is bringing around, you are realising that rainy days don't last forever. The rainy days are starting to shift and you are going into an energy or you have already stepped into that energy where you are treating yourself like the God, the Goddess that you truly are. You are spirit having human experience and I feel like you're realising that or you will be realising that soon. You know, it, you can't stay in that energy forever. As long as you put the work in, you are going to be going over to the side. You are going to be shining your light. You're absorbing like a sponge at the moment. So you may feel like very like you want to soak up knowledge you know books that type of thing or just just learning new things because what's crossing that energy is you are coming in for a massive congratulations so you're definitely soaking up this light it's like spirit is trying to say to you look in the mirror see your wings your wings are shining so we've got you've been given your energy wings it's now time to use the gift and strengths that these wings carry to provide guidance and empowerment to yourself and others. Your experiences are your qualifications. Soar to new spiritual hearts and spread your angelic energy wherever it's needed. So your energy is needed. This is purposeful. Why is this coming around now for my Libras? We've got the abandoned and lonely card. Some of you may be still in the energy of abandonment and rejection. Maybe that's the shadow work that you're needing to work on or you have been working on. It's also a sign that you are releasing negative entities, negative people, negative cycles. Because the hand of the divine is saying, grab my hand, follow me, and I'm going to take you towards the people and the places in life that will bring light into your life. You know, you've got all this light here that's ready. Do not abandon yourself. I don't know why I wanted to say that, but... Do not abandon yourself. You've got experiences that can help other people as well as yourself in going forward. Because in the recent past, you have been dealing with karma. So you may have been dealing with karmic debts. You may have been righting your wrongs. You may have been um, in karmic situations where you weren't treated really well and you've come away from them, you know. You've, you're removing yourself from dark entities. Sometimes we are the dark entity in our life. Sometimes other people or situations, that type of thing. We, we can't control that. But that is karma. So you've been in like a karmic loop going on. But around this full moon, this karmic loop is changing. We're moving forward. So at present, for my Libras, we've got two. So we've got the Twin Flame card. I don't like saying Twin Flame, so I say Spiritual Union. So you may be on your way towards the Spiritual Union. You may have already been in the Spiritual Union. We have got 11-11, so numbers could be significant. Synchronicities, numbers, you know, signs, that type of thing. But this just shows the power, what you've been putting into your own life. You know, this part here is, it's tumultuous, it's chaotic. But as we shift up, we go into the divine masculine, the divine feminine energy, the yin yang. You know, and it's also that karmic hate. So your reading is very karmic. When we're in this cycle, we kind of keep going round and round and round until we get the lesson. And then as we start to pivot up, we go into the peace energy. You're already starting to climb that energy because what came out with that is your root chakra. So it's about dealing with your root chakra, working on your root chakra, especially through this full moon energy, the beginning of July. It's about working on grounding practices, practices that are going to help you stay grounded for yourself. And especially if it is in regards to manifesting new relationships or bringing relationships back around. Because going forward, I love how there's so much light in this reading, Libra. Going forward, you've got recognition and you will start recognising the light that's within you. You're going to be feeling on top of the world. You are ending that cycle. It's like, I have done it. Bang, I'm here. This is what this full moon is pushing you to do. Your purpose, being productive in going towards what you want to envisage in your life and what you want to experience and how you want it to look and how you want it to feel being the bigger one. Also on top of that, you've got Soul Sisters, which is the Soul Tribe card. I drew girls but because they were my drawings. And I like, you know, we're girlies. So, but I have got soul brothers now. <laughs> you know, everything changes. So we've got soul tribe, soul brothers, soul sisters. You know, it's soul family. You being, your light is being recognised by good people. So you're getting rid of these and you're going towards these. I love this Libra. This is probably my favourite reading through the full moons up to now. I've got to do the fire signs yet, but your power is your crown chakra. Meditation, dreams, channeling, you know, it's opening the crown chakra. The crown chakra is it's the umbilical cord to the universe. That is your nurturing energy. You know, allow that information to come down, soak it up like a sponge. That's where the true knowledge comes from. 
you accumulate in true knowledge. It's beautiful. The outside influence to your reading. We've got the third eye chakra and knowledge. <laughs> I don't need these cards really, do I? The third eye chakra, seeing the bigger picture of things. Your third eye chakra is being activated. And in that, you're soaking up the knowledge. It's almost like I can see all the words just floating in through the mind, through the eye, through the crown chakra. It's absolutely beautiful. Some of my Libras are going to be learning new things, maybe higher levels of learning, going to college, university, that type of thing, going back to school. Or it is the school of life and you're learning the knowledge that the universe has got to give you. Hope Sophia's position, please. The heart. All your chakras are glowing, seriously. Spirit's hope is that you live from the heart. When you live from the heart, it is that zero point energy. It's the pure energy of manifestation. You know, greed will come from other places in your body. This is just love. And that's where you're doing, that's where you're working from. <coughs> Some of you may be going towards Reiki, um, having Reiki, healing the chakras, doing the doing the work on your own chakras. Your outcome is connection. Connection with yourself, connection with other people connection with people who are going to see you like but this is you expanding this is you meditating and allowing your higher self to channel through you and becoming your teammate you know you are your team your own teammate i want to get a bit of clarification on that don't even need to because right now libra you are forming solid structures and them solid structures are bringing around the opportunities that you really desired and that what you deserve so I absolutely love this reading. I'm going to leave it there. Mwah. Bye.